This is from the bibliography. Uh, in obliquity, I have drawn on ideas which have been around for millennium. I should also, I should like in particular to acknowledge the debt to Robert Solomon, whose admirable ethics and excellence relieved me from the burden of economists' credo that everyone must be maximizing something. Solomon introduced me to the possibility that Aristotle might have had something to say about a world that contained collateralized debt obligations. He did. In, his, in this act of wealth, he's quoting Aristotle, in this act of wealth, getting there is no limit to the end. Oh, sorry, I, I, I read it wrong. In this act of wealth getting, there is no limit of the end, which is riches of the spurious kind. Politics, Book 1, Part 9. He also, he's talking about Robert uh, Solomon, he also introduced me to Alasdair MacIntyre, who lived in that world and viewed it with revulsion. He, I also owe a great debt to James Scott's superb Seeing Like a State, a fertile source of ideas and examples of failures of direction and modernism. I have borrowed them extensively. A maxim we know more than we can tell, which is fundamental to obliquity, encapsulates Michael Pollyani's exposition of tacit knowledge, an idea that many have had, but few have so well expressed. Uh, Richard Sennett's recent book, The Craftsman, expresses similar themes to this book though from a radical different st starting point. I gained my first sense of power of evo evolutionary thinking in understanding the social and economic institutions from Ra Matt Ridley's Origins of Virtue. In a very different style, Ken Binmore and Herbert Gintis, Gintis, I think, explore similar themes from an economist's perspective. The attack on Franklin's rule as an epitome of rational thought comes today from many quarters, especially from the projects on decision making led by Jerd Geigerenzer, Geigerenzer, I think. Uh, I really apologize for all these mispronunciations. Behavioral economics tends, as I described, to persist with the notion that the failure of standard concepts of rationality is a problem in our own behavior rather than our models. But the work of Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky and must nevertheless be credited with transformation in, our, in the way I and many others think about economic behavior. Economists are beginning the task of observing actual behavior and incorporating it into the models rather than imposing supposedly normative models on their subject. It's a big shift. I hope this book gives a small nudge in that direction. It's absolutely, I'm reading, uh, thinking fast and slow. It's another fascinating book and uh, ideas are, uh, to a certain extent, um, it, it, it points out uh, shortcomings of a model based on uh, you know, our assumptions and our biases, how they cre uh, creep into the models. It's a fascinating book and must read. So this is about it. Obliquity, Bajonki. Must read book.